Hey everyone, welcome to the video. This is Owen here, and in this video I want to make a video about my experiences being all raw again, because like for quite a while I just I started dabbling with cooked food again, um, and it becomes a habit for sure, especially with me and certain other people who are more addictive to food. Or, or, you know, I find almost everyone is addicted to cooked foods, to be honest, and almost everyone also is also even addicted to food, even if it's... Uh, raw food which is going beyond the point of like uh, closer to breatharianism but that's a different video to be honest but in this video I want to share with you my experiences of how I've been feeling on raw foods again and I have to say like my body is very sensitive body like if I tr I tried some ch like I'm sensitive to alcohol I haven't drank in years but I have this much wine like in a glass it seriously gets to my head I tried some cannabis oil lately and some chocolates and bloody hell man, that was like feckin', that was like so, 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 so strong, I accidentally took too much, not a good experience. I'm sensitive to cooked foods, I'm, I'm, I, feel, I feel it brings me down generally, unless it's just like a teaspoon or a tablespoon or two, but usually I always have way more than that. But I've been gradually learning to cut down on my cooked food amount, which has been a really nice experience, like... Um, quantity control and being more listening to my body instead of just eating too much. So I've, I've um, let me see, um, I've been in the last five, around five days ago I did a raw food day and then the last three day, then the next day I had a bit of cooked food, not much, and then the last three days and then today I've been just eating raw. And I have to say, not only have I been, I feel really great by the way, not only have I been eating raw, but I've been eating very little almost. But I don't mean little to the point of like make myself starving or feel like I'm really hungry or tired. I've been listening to my body and from like in the past I just overeat. Like I'm sure loads of you are like this, just like stupid overeating. <laughs> like cooked or raw like I remember one day in Bali I did a nine day watermelon feast with coconut water and I just that's all I ate and a whole lot of herbal tea for my kidneys and lymphatic system and stuff man I was like stuffing myself with watermelon the most I've ever stuffed myself in my life almost but it was like I was seriously detoxing I had big cravings too and big energy ups and downs but eating raw food this way I'm having like a lot of walnuts and dates like fresh from the shell walnuts organic stuff Nearly everything I'm eating is uh, basically organic, and I think organic is very important. But I'll do another video about that. I suppose I could talk about organic now. I just think there's a lot more sprays on non-organic, and people I know like no farmers, and like they're really hooked up to this, to where the food comes from. Even where I'm like staying now, like there's so much food growing. Like they they know they've been growing for years, and the difference between like organic and non-organic is huge. Like the chemicals they use in non-organic foods is like way too much. So like I'd really recommend people to get on organic food as much as possible. And it's even more important to grow your own food. So uh So I think it's really important to not overeat because when you overeat you tire your body, your digestive system. There's two things that are important in food to think about, and that's how fast and easy, how fast and how easy food goes in and is eliminated or goes out. So how fast, and then how easy food is digested and goes into your body. And then secondly, which is extremely important, most people don't even think about this. So it's not just about nutrition and how fast and easy it is to digest and go in, but how fast and and easy. It is to remove and eliminate from your, from your in your stool and, and through your GI tract after your stomach. Sticky, heavy, dense, dehydrated, and cooked food, and unnatural and, and overly processed food, or unnaturally like processed in a bad way. That is so heavy and tiring to remove from your body. It ruins your energy. It wrecks your system, your flow. So let me just tell, like, so for me, you want watery food instead of dense, um, sticky, or natural food. So more watery and liquidy instead of dense, and stodgy, and sticky, and congestive. So let me talk a bit more about that then, okay? So 
even having nuts, some people say is dense, but the thing is a raw nut has lots of water in it. It's pretty watery and has a lot of fiber and it's pretty easy and fast to go out too. Fruit, the stereotypical, most juiciest watery food in the raw food. I have fruits. I have nuts. Nuts are full of amino acids to help it. There's a building box of protein to help me build muscle. I'm doing weights these days. I'm doing I'm doing some yoga which is hanging from the ceiling like this sort of like funny thing that looks like a parachute almost. I don't know how to, how to call it. Like hanging yoga thing. And I'm carrying like heavy boxes of apples and stuff and I've been I've noticed like in the shower every day. My shoulders and my um my biceps are much like getting more firmer and harder and toned and bigger. And I got a reading lately from like a channel like called Adronus and just check out Adronus from Sirius if you, anyone's interested in that type of thing. He's brilliant. He recommended to have more protein and vegan and raw food, like vegan raw food protein. I eat amino acids from greens, nuts and seeds. And I have been and I'm just feeling better. But for me, one of my problems in life has just been like food addiction, like overeating. And I, like I said, like I know everyone's like this. Everyone I see is like almost everyone's out of control. I have my like you know treats and exceptions, all these type of things, you know. But um, yesterday I had like you know I had some like two raw food desserts. They're kind of like like you know expensive enough, like nine Canadian dollars each, like around six euros each. One was like chocolate and pe peanut butter and like some coconut flakes and stuff on the bottom. And, uh, Eh, the bottom wasn't to my liking too much, to be honest. <laughs> but usually I have like, like chocolate, like you know, dark chocolate that's cooked. It's very heavy on me. I have said dark chocolate. It can be like addictive and uh, heavy. Maybe not too heavy, but it gives you a bit of a buzz, like a little bit of buzz sometimes. Because I'm sensitive, so like, I'll tell you a funny story. Like I had like one line of dark chocolate, like four little slices. <laughs> It, like two weeks ago and I definitely I felt like totally like not good after that I felt like some sort of weird wired like sensation like I was like ooh fuck can't think <laughs> lasted for like an hour until I had like loads of like loads of loads of like loads of my uh, loads of my pee that's like oh my god <laughs> the stuff I'm saying in this video yeah I had loads of my pee because I do urine therapy I think it's the best thing I've ever discovered almost crazy so powerful but I had to rehydrate and just but my friend had like I had one sixth of one bar of chocolate and it had a really bad effect on me that day. He had two bars of chocolate sometimes. Like that's like six times more in one bar, that's twelve times more. And uh, he felt nothing. Like I, We have a joke like feel nothing. He's, I think he's like a little bit insensitive sometimes with food. <laughs> but everyone's different sensitive levels like empaths and high sensory people like HSPs, like they're super sensitive so they have to be really careful but I, I'm pretty sensitive too, you know, I'm very sensitive. I have to be really careful what I eat and what I put in my body. So what I've been having lately is like a lot of herbal tea. A lot, a fair bit of, I've been having less pee because I've been detoxing more but still having a fair bit of my pee. I've been having fruits and nuts predominantly, especially more so having some lovely like or organic uh, orchard apples from fresh fresh around here in cost in british columbia lovely been having some bananas yeah some desserts but i want to cut the, cut out the chocolate and the desserts because they're just too expensive and they're like i just want to go more on simple like healthy real food not like all these like mixtures because they're slower to go in and slower to go out harder so basically speaking what i really want to say in this video the most almost is listen to your body and don't overeat listen to your body don't have to have a meal in the evening forget about that have a meal in the, for lunch or don't have a, have a, like a meal because usually my meal when i'm raw is a salad but yesterday it got late i didn't have any salad so so try let go and see and be honest with your food addictions your habits your cravings your unhealthy habits that you've picked up from being on earth for like 20, 30 years or more, 40, 50 years, whatever age you are. The lighter you eat and the less stress you put on your nervous, your, your body, your digestive system, which is both digesting in and eliminating out, okay, your GI tract. You're going to have way more energy. I've been having more dreams, I've been having better, more vivid dreams. I've had way more energy at night time. 
I'm needing less sleep. I have way more energy overall, I have more creative energy, a faster recovery. Like, from sexual activity, or from exercise, I'm just having more energy and faster recovery, it's way better. Living a life of addiction for cooked foods is bloody bullshit, I can't do that anymore. But, but guys, I'm not trying to judge anyone, but I'm just, like, cooked food is addictive in my opinion, like, I don't know. I know loads of people who say this, and I just have to strongly agree, like, but the more weaker or sick or sensitive or both your body is, the more you'll know it's a profound, bigger effect. But I have to say, cooked food or heavy food is like numbing, it numbs down, numbs you down, it slows your recovery, stifles your creativity takes away your energy, it's all about energy guys, that's what I want to say in this video, it's all about energy. So that's why breatharians, like they get prana from the source, like the original. When we eat food we're getting earth and sun energy. And from the water and the air, that's where the plants grow, okay? But when we eat, there's a tree, when we eat the energy direct from the source, we're getting the sun energy directly, we're getting the prana from the air directly, we're absorbing the earth energy always anyway. But in, in maybe like two, three, two, two, maybe three, four, five, six, seven years, I'm going to become like, I'm going to activate my subtle energy centers, I'm going to activate my chakras more, and my crown chakra more, all my chakras, so I can actually live more on the subtle energy. Bertharians say, like there's a 10 and 21 day bro Breatharian process. I want to do the 10 day one. It's maybe around 1300 Canadian dollars or US dollars. You save loads of money on food, but most people then have to eat 20% less or less. Some people eat and drink nothing then for quite a while. I love food and that's why I'm not interested right now in uh, activating these energy centers. But you know, once you activate these energy centers, you're basically inher getting your inherited birthright to be living on. The subtle energies. Food is a big heavy dense energy, it's like it's like burning coal instead of the subtle energies like earth energy, solar energy, like wind energy, wave energy. So I want to inherit my birthright so I can I can choose to eat for fun and enjoyment and social reasons, but it, it's not a need. So that's what Pretharians are living for. It's like they're letting, they're inheriting their birthright. Then they need like four hours less sleep a day or more. That's like good to have. Like even eating lighter right now, I'm noticing not only is my energy better, my recovery is faster, and therefore everything's easy to in and out more. And I'm eating the proper quantities, not overeating, listening carefully to my body, not tiring myself out and wasting energy on digestion and, and elimination. But I have less sleep requirements, which is really handy, you know, you can go to bed later and you wake up earlier and you wake up fresher, that's one thing I've definitely noticed. Like I did raw foods before for like seven months and then then another seven month period too, so two seven month periods all raw. Well, what, the second period I broke one Indian meal halfway through because I had crazy cravings, I wasn't eating enough food probably. <laughs> that was funny. But almost, then I did another, so basically two seven month periods. and. Uh, Yeah, I don't know, that's all I really want to say in this video guys, so but make sure you meet your requirements. It's not about eating less, it's about eating what you need and no more. Don't be stuffing yourself. Because like the more physically active you are, maybe the more sexually active you are, if you're like ejaculating as a man, maybe even just as a woman possibly, you might need more food. But also make sure you breathe, and I have to say that the two most important things in any diet is sleep and rest. They're the cornerstones, the foundations. And breathing in the chi, in the air, and the prana, and the energy is vital. And I have more energy to exercise, and in turn when I exercise, then I feel better, and i just more inspired to stay on this path. I don't know, I'm finally giving up my addiction to food, finally. I've been honest about it for years to myself, but it's just been hard to like, eat the best quality foods you can is important too. And really, it's so important guys, chew your food and enjoy your food, chew and enjoy and, and appreciation and mindfulness. Don't be just like slouching it all back like eating, watching television or something or like, and you're not even chewing or being grateful. Like chew and eat consciously and carefully with gratitude for the people who made the food or served you the food or prepared the food or grew the food and grew the food. 
and your body. Eat love and gratitude, appreciation for yourselves, like a nurturing, loving act to your body when you're eating, and second, where the food came from, and to the plants themselves, etc. So. <laughs> I like communicating and making funny noises. Yeah, I emulate um, traffic noises too, and all these sort of mechanical noises. So yeah, I hope this video helped everybody. Um, I'm gonna keep more up-to-date tracks of like my progress and what I've been doing. And if I go off track, I'm gonna keep you updated a bit more, okay? So everyone, lots of love. And um, if anyone would like one-to-one -one coaching or to boost their body, mind, and spirit with herbs and superfoods, enzymes, or, es or essential oils, delicious organic essential oils, have a look at my, my web shop below to support me and my family and my loved ones, HigherSelfHerbs.com and for one-to-one -one health or life coaching, please check me out below on OwenFox.org. It's my passion, it's my calling to be of service to the world, to help enhance, heal and uplift people's lives and the, and the consciousness of the world also. Happier, healthier, brighter f life and planet for everybody. Thanks for all of your love, everybody. Thanks for your care your support, all of your comments, and if you like this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends and family. I'd love, love to, I love them to hear this message and for to hear feedback. A lot of funny things in this video. From making bird sounds, talking about drinking your pee, <laughs> food addiction, prana, breatharians. But it's all real, everybody. That guy, Adronis, he also, I asked him about drinking pee, he said, definitely, urine therapy is brilliant. Like he said, it's great. It's like full of nutrients, and it is. Anyway, everyone, so I'll talk to you again another time, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and to share and like the video, please. And I'd love to hear from you in the comment box below. If you have any questions about anything, just leave it in the comments below, and I'll get back to you. Have a nice day, everybody. Blessings and love. Let's say goodbye to the crow. Bye. Such a nice area, eh? Look at the beautiful mountains.